Let's take a look at the skill of vocabulary, the definition, differences between the levels, ways to improve it, and do not miss out on our tips and pointers. This is AE Approach, let's start up. Welcome back. My name is Santiago and during this video we are going to discuss the definitions of vocabulary as a skill, register, paraphrasing, idioms. We are going to describe each level of proficiency, ways to improve the skill and vocabulary tips and pointers for test taking. Stay tuned. So as usual, let's begin by defining the skill. Vocabulary is the lexical competence of the speaker, meaning the use of words and fixed expressions or groups of various words with a preconceived meaning. The accuracy and amount and versatility of these words and the speed of access to them will determine the level of proficiency of the test taker. Vocabulary has specific elements that are involved in speech production and let's have a look at these. So the first one is register, the limits between the different contexts of communication, formal, familiar, informal, etc. For example, the register in which you communicate with your friends is more familiar than the register that you use to communicate with a chief pilot or a Czech airman, which tends to be more formal. Now, the sensitivity to register is the ability to understand the context for register use, knowing the level of familiarity or formality of a given situation and the appropriate vocabulary for that specific setting. The second element of vocabulary is paraphrasing, which is the ability to say something in different ways. This is the strategy that we use when we feel stuck trying to find a word. You know that feeling of, I have it on the tip of my tongue. And instead we use a synonym or a brief description of the concept achieving in this manner the communication goal. And we have idioms, which are phrases or expressions with a figurative meaning or not literal meaning. These tend to be very cultural and they might change from country to country. Nevertheless, there are several well-known and universally used English idioms that could come in handy during the test. Now let's see the definition of each level. For level four, the test taker has to display sufficient amount and accuracy of vocabulary to be able to communicate on aeronautical and daily topics consistently. You must be able to paraphrase and negotiate successfully during unusual or unexpected circumstances. For example, some words might require clarification. For this level of proficiency, the quality of vocabulary is described as simple. Now, to obtain level 5, the speaker must have sufficient amount and accuracy of words to be able to communicate on aeronautical and daily topics just like level 4, but paraphrasing has to be natural, consistent, and successful, and there might be some use of basic idioms. Level 5 test takers have some sensitivity to register, but the vocabulary might not be sufficient to communicate effectively on other topics not related to aviation. And finally, for level 6 vocabulary, you must display an amount and accuracy of words sufficient for effective communication on a wide variety of familiar and unfamiliar topics. Idiomatic vocabulary is used and it is nuanced, meaning that it includes subtleties and the test taker must be sensitive to register. Tools to improve your vocabulary. Number one, while watching videos or listening to podcasts, find new words, words that you don't know, write them down and look for their definition. Number two, use these new words within context to be able to recognize them when another person uses them. Number three, understand what is the morphology of English words and practice these rules. Number four, know where words go within a sentence and practice these rules. And here are our tips and pointers for this skill. Number one, use high quality vocabulary. Avoid using simple words like good or bad, which are almost ambiguous, and instead use more precise terms like optimal or hazardous. Number two, do not use repetitive vocabulary. 
try to use different words and synonyms for the same concept. For example, plane, airplane, aircraft. Number four, practice paraphrasing in different contexts so you will develop this skill. Number five, prepare for the exam in order to practice new language, even idioms, that might be useful. Number six, do not use slang. Slang is always changing and so it is not useful for communicating. In the next video, we will review the skill of fluency. What is it? How is it affected by fillers? What is expected of each one of the levels? How to improve it? And our tips and pointers for the exam. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Leave a comment and hit the like button. Share with others, of course. And this was AE Approach. I'll see you next time.